Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Thanks again for joining us. Once again, it's time for some quality work from our Star of the Month, Robert Redford. We begin this session with Redford turning up the heat in a romantic drama loosely based on a one-act play by the great Tennessee Williams. The film is called This Property is Condemned. It was released by Paramount Pictures in 1966. And it co-stars Redford and Natalie Wood a year after they first worked together in the drama Inside Daisy Clover, which, by the way, we'll be showing later this evening. Now, when Paramount Pictures first started developing this next movie, they intended it for Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. But they dropped out to instead make Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? So Paramount then turned to Natalie for the lead, and she happily signed on. She'd always wanted to play one of the colorful women created in a play by Tennessee Williams. She also wanted to work with Robert Redford again. At this point in her career, Natalie was a star, indeed she was, able to command approval as to who would be her leading man and who would direct any film she was in. Robert Redford immediately said yes when he was asked to co-star with Natalie. He's also the one who suggested they go after Sidney Pollack to direct. The two men were great friends, Pollock and Redford, and they had met while they were acting together in the film War Hunt. When Pollock changed courses and began directing movies, Redford started looking for a project the two of them could do together. And at this point, Pollock had directed television and just one feature, The Slender Thread. So getting a plum assignment like this Natalie Wood project was a major boost to Sidney Pollock's career and his confidence. Well, here's the end result. The story of young love blossoming between a restless small town girl and an up and coming railroad executive and all the angst, jealousy and passion that can stir up when Tennessee Williams is writing the story. You'll also be seeing Charles Bronson and the young girl who played Gregory Peck's daughter in To Kill Mockingbird, Mary Badham. From 1966, here's This Property is Condemned. I most certainly did. You need telling off. Anxious to get back to it now, too, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm anxious to get back, and I'm going. And I meant every word I said about you. Mine under false cards. Yes! Tricking you. Yes! Liar! Yes! Yes! Liar. If you're familiar with the Tennessee Williams one-act play, This Property is Condemned, you're aware of the big differences in the story between the play and this movie. Williams noticed them, too, and was so unhappy with the changes they made for the movie, he, he didn't want his name associated with the film. It ended up that the movie didn't do well at the box office, and that caused Natalie Wood to turn down the co-starring role with Robert Redford in the movie version of Barefoot in the Park, which was to be filmed the following year. She adored Bob Redford, but... She felt the public wasn't necessarily interested in seeing them as a constant movie team. And that opened the door for Jane Fonda to go star with Robert in that film, which just happens to be a movie we have coming up next in our Star of the Month salute to Robert Redford. So stick around. 